So, in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing dynamic memory allocation in C. In the previous video, we have talked about calloc function in C. This video, we will discuss realloc function, right? How to use it, what is this function, how the memory would be reallocated with the help of a program, we will see. Practical also, I will show you. And we will also see the mechanism, the behind the scene process, how the memory would actually be reallocated, right? These are some, you can say, important points or hidden facts about realloc function that rarely you will find at any other place. So, all the important points about this function we are going to discuss in this video. This is going to be very, very interesting video for you guys, right? Now, before that, just want to tell you about an opportunity that you don't want to miss that Geeks for Geeks has brought for you. Yes, Geeks for Geeks has come up with an opportunity for you guys to become leader among your peers with their campus mantri program. Yes, you can be a mantri at your campus and it is as prestigious as it sounds. So, I guess nobody wants to miss this opportunity because it just adds some values to your professional route. So, as a campus mantri, you are responsible to spread awareness about Geeks for Geeks at your college campus, their events, their courses and you would be leading various awareness programs, workshops, seminars and other events at your college campus on the behalf of Geeks for Geeks. And being a, being a campus mantri, you are a part of giant Geeks for Geeks parliament also, which is having 20 lakhs users from all over the world. So, the last date for registration for this campus ambassador program is March 31st. And being a campus monthly, what you will get, you will get career counseling, certificates, exciting goodies and much more. Every month, top performer will be recognized as campus monthly of the month, which would be published on their website and their social handles. The top performer will get a chance to go live on Instagram and their testimonial will be shared on their website. Winners will receive GFG coupons up to Rs. 8000, Amazon vouchers, test series, courses, goodies bags and internship opportunities and depending on the task is given. So, you can register yourself directly from the Campus Mantri program which is eligible for college first year and second year students. The link, the registration link you will find in the description box of this video. So, you can go and check out. See, it means reallocation of memory. Means Previously, you have dynamically allocated the memory, but now you want to resize that memory. Resize. Resize means you can increase the size or decrease the size. Right? Suppose previously you have allocated memory using the function malloc or calloc. If you have allocated memory dynamically previously, then only you can use realloc function to realloc the, realloc the, reallocate the memory. But suppose you haven't allocated memory dynamically and now we are using realloc function, then it will show undefined behavior. So, this point you need to take care. It is responsible to resize the previously allocated memory using calloc or malloc, right? You can increase the memory size, the memory block size, you can decrease the allocated memory block size, right? I hope this is clear to you. This is built-in function which is declared in stdlib.h. Fine. Now, how to use this function? What is the syntax? Just you have to write down realloc. It will accept two argument. Right? The previously allocated memory pointer. Right? So, this pointer you will write here asterisk ptr or you can say pointer. Next is what? New size new size, maybe increased size or decreased size, you want to allocate new size, you want to reallocate the memory, right? that size. So, this is what previously allocated pointer, fine. Suppose previously I have allocated some memory using malloc and 100 bytes, I am using malloc 100, simple syntax I am using, I am not using size of and everything, right. Uh, malloc 100 so it will allocate from the heap section what it will do from the heap section it will allocate a block of what 100 bytes and it will return the address of base address of this the address of the first byte and that suppose I am storing in a pointer base address is 1000 so that I am storing 1000. Now I want 400 bytes so I want to reallocate I want to increase this size of this memory block. So, what you need to pass this pointer, the previous pointer that is pointing to the previously located memory that PTR and this, this would be void star, void uh, no, uh, generic pointer. So, generally this pointer is suppose we, I have used this block to store integer values, right. 
so you will say that we have typecasted this and this is int pointer so this pointer would automatically be converted to generic pointer to void pointer right by realloc and the new size here you will give new size suppose 100 here and i want 400 bytes so you can write here 400 now realloc will return void pointer so according to your need you need to typecast it right here whatever you will write you can typecast it and you will store that address into this pointer only the new address so the return type of this is void pointer realloc the previously i know allocated pointer and the new size so this is general syntax of using realloc now one plus point for realloc function is what it will resize the previously allocated memory block and very important thing is without without losing the previous content let's take an example i have allocated a memory using malloc or calloc also you can take right for 5 into for 5 integer right size of int and i am storing this in ptr and here i have taken int star ptr so from heap section suppose i have stored 1 2 3 4 5 5 integer right 1000 is a base address so it will return 1000 in ptr we are, we are going to store 1000 and this for 5 integer we have allocated memory using malloc now i want to realloc this memory this memory block i want to store now 7 integer so you can realloc this how you can use this just use realloc pointer ptr previous pointer is previously allocated memory block is pointed by this ptr so just provide this pointer and now new size new size suppose i want to store two more integer so two more means seven integer so th this block would be for seven into size of int new size is seven into size of int five previous two new then seven so it will extend it will expand this block only if possible see these points are very important if possible it will expand these blocks only this memory block only so it will expand this like this one and two in this heap section only so the previous content would be as it is and the base address of this block would be as it is so whatever it will return suppose you are suppose you are storing that in ptr1 the new pointer or you can take the same pointer also it's okay but i want to store in new ptr fine and now the previous content would be as it is now you want to add extra two values suppose i want to add six and seven that is fine so this is the feature of you can say very important point about this ptr without losing the previous content if possible it will expand the same block if not possible suppose the situation is something like this uh, suppose in heap this is the case like 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is I I have stored. And it's not possible to expand this block. So what realloc will do now? It will allocate a new memory block somewhere else. Suppose here it is possible. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. It will allocate a new block listen carefully copy the previous content copy the content from this memory block here deallocate this thing you can say free this memory right and now it will return this address suppose this previous address was 1000 and this address is over suppose 3000 so now it will return 3000 so now this 3000 suppose i am storing in ptr one in ptr1 i am storing this address so it will return 3000 here previous was in ptr 1000 but this has been deallocated right the main point is whether it will expand the same block or whether it will allocate a new block content would be as it is it will it will 
if it will allocate a new block if not able to expand that block because of the memory constraint it will copy the previous content first then deallocate this previously allocated memory and then return the new address right we will also see practical also i'll show you right and if the same block it will expand so you can just print the address you can just print the address for ptr and ptr1 the value of ptr and ptr1 if expand the same block then ptr also 1000 it will return and this also 1000 it will return right so these are very important point this is behind the scene process how actually it will reallocate the memory right i hope you got this and if it is not able to reallocate the memory successfully then it will return null same malloc and calloc also return null on failure on success it will return the pointer right so see we are not sure that it will expand the same block or it will allocate memory it will allocate a new memory block we are not sure it depends on the situation it will face right but what we can show uh, sorry what we can be sure about that the data the original content your data would be safe this is for sure and that i'll show you practical also that your data would be safe you will see a program right but if you reduce the size suppose size i'm reducing for 3 integer then obviously data would be lost 2 integer you are going to lose 2 integer previously for 5 integer now you are reducing the size for 3 integer so obviously you are going to lose 2 integer that is understood right in that case you will lose your original data fine so let me just write down a program here so see here we have taken one pointer we are going to enter the value same we are going to enter some integer i want to store integer value you can take float or character up to you right it's not like that always i am taking int value so we cannot take float or char no you can take here char type of pointer character you can store or float value or any other type of values you can store right enter value of n then dynamically allocate memory using calloc num right the syntax i hope you know now it will accept two argument and that's it now we are going to enter the values scan f ptr plus i now update i want to update the size of n i want to resize this memory block right so just enter updated value of n scan f address of n now reallocate the memory according to the updated value so just use realloc the previous pointer pass and n into size of int whatever the new value you will enter here that value it will take right now you can print you can check whether the same block it will it is going to expand the same block or it is going to change the address right so previous address you can print and new address you can print previous pointer was ptr and the new pointer i am taking what ptr1 right in test tree ptr1 and now i am printing the values from 0 to n the loop and i am just printing the values now the updated pointer is ptr1 so just use ptr1 here right ptr1 plus i and just free the pointer at last fine so now let me just show you practical of this thing and see if you rather than this ptr if you write down here null means previous pointer null and then n into size of n then this realloc will act as malloc you can say it will be equivalent as malloc function just allocate this memory one block of this memory size the previous is null right and if you pass here null here we are passing ptr and here you are passing null or zero the new size then it will be equivalent as free pointer means you are going to free this this ptr the new size of this ptr is the new memory uh, block size is zero that is null means nothing so just free the previously allocated memory that's it fine so let me just show you practical on my laptop so let me just create a new file realloc.c file right and we are going to copy the same what we have discussed about in malloc so we are taking a pointer enter total number of values like n and using malloc we are what we are doing we are just allocating the memory right and now we are going to enter the values using printf and now we are, we are not going to print before printing just ask suppose you want to reallocate you want to update the size of int right updated size of n right
just this using scanf and now reallocate memory. So, what you will do I am taking a PTR1 new pointer right sorry strict and then we will type cast this and realloc and previously pointer we will pass and then new size, new size means n into size of int that is it. Now, if you want to see that the address then you can previous address or you can say previous block address you can print right and uh, after that you can print what new block address and how to print address we are having in PTR previous and new address in PTR 1 that is it and now just print the entered values 0 to n and we are just printing I here we are using PTR 1 because the newly allocated pointer is PTR 1 right and after that you can free this PTR, PTR and PTR 1 right both are if both are pointing to same location then it is ok uh, you have to free PTR 1 the newly updated pointer fine. Now, let me just run this and show you what output you will get. See it is asking total number of values 3, entering the values 1, 2, 3, updated value suppose now I want to add 2 more integers then 5. So, it is see previous address it is printing this one and new address is also same, so same block it is expanding right, both pointer are having same address. So, see the previous content is as it is 1 to 3 and the new content is 0 0 or maybe any garbage value it can take right because we have not initialized these two values, but previous content would be as it is 1 to 3 right. Now, what you will do suppose I want to reduce the size let me just run this again and enter total number values 5 1 2 3 4 5. And now updated values 3 I want to reduce the size in that case previous address and the new address is same right and the values are only 1 to 3 because now you have reduced the memory block. So, 2 obviously 2 values you are going to lose for 3, 3 values you will get here right. So, I hope this realloc function is clear to you guys all the important points about realloc function. Now, what points I have discussed this is assignment for you just write down those important points in comment box right and the best comment I am going to pin that comment. So, now in the next video we will see about free functions right. So, in the next video till then bye bye take care.